I'm back again. Uh, I make a mold that I sell on eBay and it's, I call it a gravity mold. It's uh, primarily was to allow people that had old pottery kilns and what have you if they wanted to melt some silver, gold, or copper, whatever they could do it. But anyway, uh, it's a two-piece mold and I will try and hold it up here. But it has a, a top chamber an air vent and then the ingot cavity and then the back plate has just got the the bore to where when it's put together it makes a two-piece mold where the top chamber you put your metal in there prior to melting and then uh, what I did was I had a metal clamp made out of two pieces of flat bar a couple of screws and, and nuts and what happens is that even though my furnaces that I use don't get hot enough to melt steel the constant heating and cooling and heating and cooling I mean they really get ugly and I spent the money to go to all stainless steel screws and nuts and at best it prolongs the inevitable which is, is the bars and the screws and the nuts are expendables they're throwaways so I kept kicking an idea around and the other day I came up and I had a little bit of time to kill so I, I built a new clamp system and it's really nothing more than a graphite block that I've machined out it's cut with a five degree taper so the very bottom is just slightly bigger than the two mold halves when they're put together. The bottom is just a solid piece, again machined out with a five degree taper end mill. But what you get is, is in the, the expansion of the graphite compared to the expansion of the steel, the steel expands more and so the clamp would get loose. Most of the time it isn't a problem but it can be. With this both pieces are the same. You just take the bottom piece and you just lightly just lightly push the two piece mold into it and the reason for the hole in the top is in case you do like I do and you got silver or whatever sticking out the top and you just place that on there and believe me that's it. That's just, just snug like that that's all you got to do I've had that in uh, I got a new furnace that I built the maxi mini which is slightly bigger than the micro mini actually it's quite a bit bigger and uh, I was doing copper with these the other day and it was just doing a, a great job these are a couple of new ingots they're framed and that's what this one will make so what I'm gonna do is I'll show you what it takes to use this uh, I'll zoom down in and and I'll blabber while I show how to modify anyone that has bought an existing gravity mold all they have to do is is take the edges off at the top and the bottom and it'll work so I'll reposition the camera so you can see that and then we'll pour one Okay, I'm going to start off with two pieces of stock and I'm just going to assume that this is a new gravity mold and it's machined out, but the outside, the corners are still pretty crisp. Okay, so all you have to do is take a file. Let me grab one. You take a file and you just lightly the outside edges that help then you just flip it over and do the exact same thing to the bottom take this one do the same It's ready to go. Pick up the top one I knocked off. You just put that on there. You just put that on the top and they're ready to go. And this really holds up well and the fact that the 
two graphite. All the graphite expands the same because I use the same grade. You can pick that out with tongs when it's hot. You can pick it right out of the furnace. I mean, it helps to grab it by the body, but I have lifted them by the top, but you, you run the risk of it falling out. So I'll uh, pour one of these and we'll see how good it goes. So, and I'm going to start making these for my vertical pour molds too because this is, this is just too simple. There I just set the bottom. I just set the top. I mean if you, you want to hit it go ahead but you know that'll by just making them seat they will last plenty long so I will go ahead and we'll get some metal going here. We'll heat up a little metal. I got one of my original I mean, original micro minis going here. The new ones are about an inch taller than that, but. Well, my battery's going dead on me. I gotta get plugged into my charger here. Okay, now I got endless power. So I'm melting some pewter and getting it a little bit too toasty. I knocked the crucible over. So I got the crucible ready. The mold is sitting there. The top and the bottom are on. We pick that up out of there. I always turn my tongs over that way I pour a little more evenly. And then I just go ahead and pour that. I'm pouring this more or less like a vertical pour mold, but the pewter is so easy to do that. Uh, I don't have to heat the whole unit. Uh, the fact that this is a little bit taller, uh, it's going to be primarily, I'm going to sell them for people that have taller kilns and uh, bigger furnaces. That's why I, I've built the next size bigger furnace, primarily to use the, the salamander clay graphite crucible that the new furnace really does a nice job. It'll do a pound of 99.9 .9 copper in about 10 minutes. Okay, so that's cooled enough, I am sure. So what I do is I just grab the mold and hold both parts. Open. Take the top off. Then I just take, lightly tap the bottom off and it's ready to go. And then the two parts just come apart. The uh, ingot is cast. It's still in its mold half and just tap it out and it's ready to go. And the nice thing about this clamp is you just set that on top. Notice I'm not even bothering to use gloves. I'll probably hear about it. But. Okay, then I just pick it up where I got both halves. And then I got the top, top half. I take the top half and I just set in there to hold it. Line it up. Take the bottom half. Set it on. Give it a little tap and that's it that mold. That's ready to recharge and put back in the furnace. Uh, much easier than trying to put a hot mold together with the clamps. And the nice little ingot is poured and all you gotta do is snip it off. I don't know if that'll Oh. 
fit back in there right now. But anyway, that's the new clamp that I'm going to start making to sell. And uh, For any of you folks out there that have bought the gravity molds or the vertical pour molds. These will work on the vertical pour too and you won't need a metal clamp for them. But anyway, that's enough for today.